Greetings, everyone. So something a little different today. We are working on the dishwasher or a dishwasher. It's a GE model and the model number I'll have in the title of the video. But uh, the other day what happened, this is the top sprayer and something broke on that and it popped off. And then the sprayer dropped down and while it was washing and landed on the heating element, which caused it to melt. And either a chunk of this plastic that melted, it dripped off and got stuck in the drain pump. Or when this broke off, whatever piece broke off that's holding it uh, came off and got sucked into the drain pump. So, um, when the dishwasher is washing, the recirculating pump is fine, but when it goes to drain the tub, uh, there's some crunching noise. So uh, my guess is it is the drain pump. So uh, we're gonna get started pulling the dishwasher and see if we can find what is stuck inside the drain pump. The first thing we're gonna do is shut off the power to the dishwasher. All right, and I can confirm the power is off because nothing is working on the dishwasher. And we will double check it when we pull the electrical cover, but uh, all the lights were working before I shut off the power. Next thing, we're going to shut off the water to the dishwasher and it surprisingly works okay next up we have to pull the cover that's underneath the dishwasher this particular one has two quarter inch hex head screws holding it in some dishwashers may have a 5 16 Next, we're going to remove the electrical junction box cover. That has a 5 16 head screw on it. Sorry for the bump there. Now I'm going to double check the power. Went uh, hot to neutral, and I'll go hot to ground, and it's basically nothing. Let's get the wire nuts uh, disconnected. Next, we have to get the electrical grommet out of the way. There's a tab on each side that has to be pushed in and then it'll pop out the back. It's kind of, I guess you'd call it a Romex connector.
Sorry, I'm having a hard time seeing it. Ouch. I can stab my hand. There we go. Finally. All right, that's what that looks like. Let me get my hand out of the way. You can see it. It has the tabs. Actually, oh, there's looks like three sides. That's why it was so hard to get out. Next, I'm going to disconnect the water supply. And I'm going to have the towel on standby because it's probably going to drip. And no water is spraying yet, so that's a good sign. All right, just a little dribble, perfect. Sorry, I had to move you out of the way there, so I get my towel in there. And again, a miracle that that shutoff valves under, under the sink is working, because we all know how often they leak. Next. We have to disconnect the drain hose right here. And this is the drain pump I was talking about where I believe there's a piece of plastic stuck in the impeller. So let's get that drain hose disconnected. This one particularly has just has a worm gear clamp on it or hose clamp. Okay. And the last thing before we pull the dishwasher out, there should be two screws that are mounted up securing the dishwasher to the, I guess you'd call this the uh, top of the cabinets or the countertop. So when the doors open, the uh, dishwasher won't fall out of the opening. There we go. Now we should be able to slide the dishwasher out from underneath the counter. So that drain hose, it comes out from underneath and it kind of has a uh, uh, I think they call it an air gap or air trap here so I'm gonna get that out so I can pull it the rest of the way out There we go. Those were the little clips holding the drain in that 
popped out. They might have flew right back at you in the camera. I put a towel down on the floor so I could tip the dishwasher back over on its back. And now we have access to the bottom. So here's a good shot of the drain pump. Uh, it is held on by this bracket here, which uh, looks like a 5 16 head. Um, but it's sitting just in a post, so it may lift right off. I've got a clamp I need to remove here, and most likely I will have to get a hose clamp or a worm gear clamp to put this back, because this is one of those kind where they fold it over and crimp it to make the clamp. So let's get that undone. All right, that's loose. Oh, there we go. All right, and it's out. And it had a lot of water in it, so good thing I got the towel down below. And now there's an electrical connection right here. Let's see if we can get that unplugged. So to get the this electrical connection off, you just have to squeeze here in the middle. And it'll pop off. And now we got our motor out. All right, now I want to get the volute off the pump and there are three screws on the top for that And I'm having to use hand tools for everything because, as usual, all my power tools are down at the build site. Alright, we got the three screws out so that the loot should separate from the pump itself. There we go. Oh, just popped out. There is the chunk of plastic that was stuck in the loot and the impellers as they were going around were probably crunching on it somehow. Let's get this put back together. Now in order to get it lined up correctly there is a flat spot on the pump housing right here and that is basically going to be down towards the floor on the dishwasher and so when the pump goes back in if this was the bottom of the dishwasher your outlet should be that's kind of like a uh, little bend on that so your, your bend would be going, if this is the flat spot, your bend would be going that way. And the um, drain outlet is going to be coming up this way at a 45. So hopefully that makes sense. And also there is a O-ring around here. That's how that makes the seal for the uh, volute to the pump housing. Get my alignment back here. All right, there we go. Get the screws in it.
Okay, let's get this back in the dishwasher. All right, I happen to have a spare hose clamp in my plumbing kit. So I won't have to reuse that one that came from the factory that was bent. But uh, when you're putting the drain pump back on, there is a notch in the rubber hose that matches up with a notch on the drain housing. All right, got that up there. Now let's snug up our drain hose. Okay, and we'll get the pump on the post. All right, we're back in business. Let's get this stood up and we will get the drain and everything connected back up. I almost forgot the electrical plug. There we go. Now we can put it back in the opening. The insulating blanket came off there. All right, let's get the drain hose back in the air trap configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and push the dishwasher back in, I'll hook up the drain, hook up the water supply, and reconnect the electrical, and then I'll bring you back. I won't show you that again since you saw it uh, when I was initially taking the dishwasher out. Okay, I'm going to turn the water back on and let's check for leaks. All right, water's back on. Anything dripping yet? I don't see anything dripping yet. All right, let's test out the uh, dishwasher. I'm gonna go out and uh, turn the power back on. 
One more thing I got to do before we test it out is I got to put the screws back in to hold it in place uh, so the dishwasher doesn't rock out of the opening. There we go. Now let's, uh, we'll start it. And when it first starts, it'll be filling the tub. And then I'll let it fill for a little bit and then I'll hit cancel. And when you hit cancel, that drain pump should come on and we'll see if it's still crunching. hours later. While that's filling, uh, I'm going to check for leaks again. All right, sounds like it is washing. So let's hit cancel and we'll see if the uh, drain pump is still good. Oh, that's amazing. All right, it is pumping and it is not crunching. We have success. So I'll do an, another video later on replacing the top spinning uh, jet. Once uh, that comes in, we're gonna order that part now. Now that I know I don't need a pump and that it was just a, a, a chunk of plastic that was causing that problem. And just so you can see, there is water in there. And I'll go ahead and cancel it again and We'll open it up and see if it pumped out. I hear it pumping into the garbage disposal. And I think it is empty. So let's open it up and check it out. Sure enough, no water. Everything seems to be working well. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the kick plate back on underneath to finish up this job. Um, hopefully this helped you if you were running into the same problem with your dishwasher. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. 
and we'll see you on the next one.